Hi everyone. We're going to use these paints today. That was the Kaiser Colour Red. And it doesn't really say much about it. Uh, this one is the Montmartre Yellow Orange. It's my absolute favourite orange. And this one is another Montmartre Cadmium Yellow. So you can see that I'm squeezing out the very last of the tube there. So I'll just add a little bit of water in there. Shake it all up. Let it sit for a moment. Now this one's a different brand. Pevio Studio Acrylics. And this is a light azo yellow. And then we have the Montmartre Titanium White. So I've actually included the mixing in with this video. So as you see there, just squirting that bit of yellow into the cup. Um, just so that you can see, because normally, you know, we might mix one and then move on. And it's just how different paints, paints go, mixing with the pouring medium. So I'll show you at the end or near the end, what's in that pouring medium bottle. Well, it's actually equal parts Atelier pouring medium and flood flow troll that I have pre-mixed together in that bottle. So, so this is just blending the paints and the pouring medium mixture together and seeing what their consistency is already like and whether or not I need to add water to make it that little bit more fluid or whether it's right to go as it is. So it's just a matter of uh, mixing small amounts in at a time because you can always add more. But once you add too much, you it's really you can't take it away, and it does it can take quite an effort to add more paint and blend that in properly and add more pouring medium because you've added more paint and you've added too much water. So the safest bet is to add little squirts at a time, mix it in, see if it's ready. And just keep going until you feel like you've got the right consistency there. Okay, so they're all done. Let's move along. This is an 8x10 canvas that I have pre-prepped. And so now just pouring some of the red paint on to give it a border and go around the sides. Because what I'm going to do with this one, I may not necessarily cover the sides. So... I felt that that was something that needed to be done in advance. So, right, so this is actually a painting that is that has been inspired by that gentleman. Um, I was looking for a specific. Um, idea or effect and I found that gentleman on YouTube and I saw one of his abstract paintings that was exactly pretty much exactly what I had in mind for what I wanted to try <laughs> um 
it is really amazing and I'm going to put a link down below um, using a handy dandy spoon there so I'll put yeah I'll put a link down below and but as you'll see I'll go along and I'll do these swirls in you know so I started the border with the red so pretty much the background is red then building to the orange and while because I'll be stirring that in not stirring um, spiraling it together kind of thing it kind of blends a little bit but not too much um, so then add on with the yellow this one is the cadmium hue from Montmartre and so we've gone with the what appears to be the red base to the orange now to the yellow and I'm just having a look here and wondering it's I'm not quite doing it right there's something that is not quite giving me that right effect so this one is the Pebio uh, light as a yellow so I'm going to try an idea and do an actual puddle pour and see if that because I'm going to um, see if that gives me the same effect without the different layers of the paint. Gosh, did that make any sense whatsoever? And that just looks like, what? That so did not work. That was not it at all. <laughs> So, okay, now we're up to the lightest of colours, the white, which my plan was that the white was going to give it the highlight. It was going to give it, um, yeah, the highlight, the, the glow, the reflection. I'm not even sure if they're the right words, seriously. Um, yeah, so I think I'd realized at this point the idea is if I start from the outside and work my way into the center, the red comes into the orange, into the yellow, which has pretty much disappeared, into the white. And it was like, oh my gosh, I think you've almost got it. So how about we add a little bit more yellow because we've lost most of the yellow and that's okay because in that blending of the red and the uh, yellow orange into the yellow it's all kind of red orange anyway so okay so now I have to remember from the outside into the center. And it kind of, it took a little bit of concentration because I kept automatically wanting to go into the center and spiral outward like I just did with that fake one. But that's all right. That, that was because there wasn't already one there. So I'm feeling like I've almost got this. <laughs> And thoroughly having a ball. I really enjoyed it. Um, as you can see, oh my gosh, I tried to add in a fine light white line of a highlight. And I was shaking. The stick was not the right tool for that, I'm sure. 
But I couldn't get it. So that's fine. Never mind. That's all part and parcel of getting in and having a, a bit of a play with an idea. So, because this, you know, um, the artist that I saw this from, absolutely amazing. So, if you would like to click on that link and check it out, I think you might understand where some of this painting came from. <laughs> the inspiration behind it. So... All right, and the idea, I was actually going to use my fingers to do the blending, but then I looked over and I saw that plastic spoon and I went, you know what, I'm going to do the spoon. So just added a little bit of a puddle there again. Revisit the puddle pour idea to see how that goes. Because maybe next time I try it, I can just start with puddle pours. So, oh, I really like that hint of white in that or around that one. Um, okay, so what what have I learned? What have I discovered? Um, the puddle pour can work. Um, you can layer the multiple colors like I did just there. So do the yellow and do the white at the same time. Uh, spiral from the outside into the center and most of all I think I just discovered a little bit of fun again uh, something a bit different yet completely fun like sometimes we get a little bit caught up in Oh, I have to do another amazing painting and what am I going to do and what colours am I going to pick and and you just sometimes forget the, the enjoyment of the process, of the discovery of, you know, just making beautiful art because as long as it comes out beautiful, to me and I enjoyed the process I enjoyed that learning experience that's what matters and if I've inspired you to go play with a plastic spoon with your paint pouring I'd love that let me know in the comments if you're going to give it a go so there's another run through the colours and my pouring medium mixture in this bottle is made up of equal parts of the Atelier and the Floetrol. And then just water added as necessary. Plus, I used a kitchen torch from a kitchen specialty shop to clear out any bubbles. So now a close up. I am thrilled that I enjoyed this so much. I'm so pleased with the result. Some of those hints of white do make me feel like there's a little bit of a, that it's a little bit of a highlight or a glow. And yeah, I'm so very happy. So thanks so much for watching everybody. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And if you hit that bell, you'll receive notifications when a new video goes up. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help. Leave me a comment and share with others who may appreciate it. Thank you again. Be kind, be creative and be fabulous. Bye.